Kula here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I am making the most videos for you guys today. I got a lot of really cool stuff this week that I really want to show you. So I'm going to get right on in here. Uh, I ordered the 100 Degrees of Mystery Julep Mystery Box. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did not get my August Julep Box this month. This is the very first time I've ever skipped a Julep Box. Um, I, I was interested in it. But there were other things I wanted to spend that money on, and none of the boxes as a whole really appealed to me. And I didn't really want to upgrade to do the switch out thing. So I'm just waiting for the polishes to show up in the store and then wait for a coupon and purchase the colors that I wanted. Um, so I skipped that. Uh, but one of you really awesome, great people used my Julep referral link, so I got a $15 credit to the store. So I was like, I'm going to buy the mystery box this month because I haven't bought a mystery box in a long time. And I thought Julep had kind of improved them, so I was excited to get this. And then when I opened it, I wasn't as excited anymore. So I'm going to show you guys what I got in here. So this is the 100 Degrees of Mystery. There weren't any like options. There weren't any special polishes or anything. It was just this is the mystery box. Uh, you could have won a $100 gift card to the Julep store and then like an extra add-on like cool um, mystery thing gift to it. I unfortunately didn't win that. I'm not sure, you know, who did. A lot of times with these promotions, I've heard people say, like, you never really hear who wins them. Like, you'd think that people who win them would post everywhere or post in the Facebook and things like that, but you never really hear from them. So I'm not sure how the distribution of that works. Uh, but this is the box I got here. This was $24.99, and I got free shipping because I'm a maven, and then with my $15 uh, like referral thing I got it was $9.99 so I got some stuff in here I got this uh, nail mask packet I haven't used the other one I have yet but I know people like these the most like these are the pe people's favorite part of the like the moisture max trio so that's kind of neat to get just that um, and then I got a couple beauty products and then I got four nail polishes so I'll start with the nail polishes uh, they came packaged as such and as you can see one of them came without a box this one came wrapped in plastic so this one is kind of an ancient one and that was one thing that kind of disappointed me about this box is I thought Julep said they weren't gonna use the old old polishes anymore so I was really hoping to get something from like a more recent collection like a polish I skipped over like from the poolside collection or something uh, but that might have been just a hope and that was not to come to pass but I'll show you guys the polishes I got so like I said I got four um, they are very summery, and I do think they fit the idea of, like, summer sizzle. They're kind of orange-themed, except for Max, which is this one right here, which I'll show you. So I do like that the colors in this bag, in this box, kind of match with the theme, so I thought that was nice. I'll start with this ancient one here. This is Zoe, or Zoe. And as you can see, there's absolutely no year. There's, there's no, um profile there's nothing on here this was one that came in plastic I'm pretty sure this one's pretty old I don't know how old though but I do like the color um I've just recently kind of started thinking about oranges again and it's kind of a metallic orange color which I thought was really pretty and great for like a transition from summer to fall and then the one polish I was really excited to get because I know I don't have this and I've been kind of interested in these types of polishes this is max this came out a while ago they had like a special for it yeah this is from 2013 and Max, it's kind of like a graffiti polish. It is a black and white kind of glitter topper. And I think those things are really cool. I've been kind of collecting some from the Formula X collection by Sephora. So I was really glad to get Max. And then I'll show you swatches of these guys when I'm all done showing you all four of them because they're all kind of together on the wheel. And then these next two are older as well. Uh, this is Lynn. Uh, this again, it doesn't say what year or anything on it, and it doesn't have the Swatch Me stickers, which is how you can tell they're old too. And it's from the American Beauty Profile, which I'm pretty sure hasn't been around for a while. I think it's been modern beauty for a long time now. But this is a really pretty, like, shimmery shell pinky color. So again, this is a really nice transitional from, like, summer to fall, I feel. I mean, this is a bit more summery. But it is a pretty color, and it does fit, you know, 100 degrees of mystery. Like, this box is supposed to be, like, red hot. And I have watched a couple other videos, and people have gotten colors that aren't quite so connected to the theme. So I'm really glad that mine kind of made sense. And then this is Gloria. 
I think I might have gotten this one before. I can't remember. I have kind of a list I keep of the Julep polishes to see uh, which ones I get that are dupes just because I have so many and I've started giving them to my mom because I have like over 250 bottles of nail polish now. That's not cool. Like it's to the point where I'm overwhelmed when I try and pick what color to uh, paint my nails. So kind of starting to pare down on that. Again, there's no Swatch Me sticker so you can tell this is old. This is a bombshell and then there's no year on it. So I'm not sure like when they come without years if that's just they weren't in like a collection or if that's just it's so old that that was before they did that. But it's just a really nice like cantaloupe corally orange color. So I thought that was super pretty. So I have them swatched here. So this is Max. So I mean Max is really cool. I'm really glad to get Max. That'll be a really cool topper. I actually contemplated getting the Formula X one and I'm glad I didn't. So now I have Max and don't have to get that one. This is Gloria. Right here and so you can see it's definitely orange but it has kind of like a nice pinky peachy kind of undertone to it so it's pretty wearable this is Lynn kind of a peachy shell pink shimmer and then this is Zoe or Zoe and it's just an orange shimmer like a burnt orange kind of shimmer very pretty and then I got two beauty products in this bag I got the brilliant cabin brilliant canvas mattifying eye primer and kind of disappointed in getting this because I definitely do not need any eye primer. This is probably going to go straight to my mom. But this is what it looks like. It comes on an applicator like this. It is kind of a peachy color. And it's definitely colored. So that'll be good to color like if you have discoloration on your lids or something. So I think this is probably a pretty good product. It's just I have so many eye primers. And I love my MAC Painterly Paint Pot that I really don't feel like I need another one. And then I also got a lip gloss, I got this guy here, and it is in the color Posh. And unfortunately, my lip gloss came to me broken. I have emailed Julep about it, I took pictures, and I'm waiting to hear back from them. When I emailed them, they said they are kind of inundated right now with people with customer service problems, so we'll see how long that takes. But you can kind of see like how gloopy this is. This little part here broke. So it is everywhere, but this is posh. Um, let me try and do like a reasonable swatch here. It is a pretty color, and it is definitely, again, like another color that would be really great for fall. So I'm really sad it's broken. I hope Julep gets back to me soon about it, and that they'll send me a new one, or we'll come to a resolution about it, which will be nice. But it's all over my fingers now. But yeah, so that is my 100 Degrees of Mystery Julep Mystery Box. Um, I'm not crushed about it. It's definitely not the most disappointing Juliet Mystery Box I've ever gotten. But it's definitely not what I was expecting. I was way more excited. I just, I don't know, I used to love Juliet Mystery Boxes. I'm going to put this lip gloss in the box so it doesn't get everywhere. I used to love Juliet Mystery Boxes and now that my polish collection is a lot more vast and I've experienced more brands and things, it's just not as exciting as it used to be. So I'm not disappointed and I guess I am a little disappointed, but I don't, like, it's not for a good reason. It's just, I just kind of wanted more, I guess. I mean, for $25, this is a pretty good deal. And none of the polish colors, like, are terrible. Like, I think they're all really pretty and really wearable for summer and fall, so that's good. It's just, I don't know, I guess I just wanted more. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, whoever used my referral link to sign up for Julep, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You helped me get some really cool stuff. I actually only paid $10 for this stuff, so I should probably be really super pumped about it. And you know what? I am, because I think Max alone is worth it, because this is pretty cool. But thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and hope you have a great rest of your day.